Hello everybody, my name is Chaos Chunk, and this is Chaos Chunk Explains FTB, uh, Feed the Beast. And this is the Minecraft version of Feed the Beast. So tonight what we're going to talk about is pipes, and, and the basic pipes that you can make in, in Feed the Beast. So pipes have three functions, or normally three modes that you can make them in. You can make them in transport pipes, you can make them in waterproof pipes, or you can make them as conductive pipes pipes okay of course they're pretty self-explanatory if you want to transport just box you know like cobblestone so on and so forth you would use a transport pipe if you want to want to transport any type of liquid lava fuel oil uh, water anything like that you would want to use a waterproof pipe and if you're going to transport if you want to move electricity from the, an engine to a device a machine or something like that you would use conductive pipes now the first pipe that we're going to explain is going to be the wooden pipe. And the wooden pipe has a special feature. And that special feature is that they are for extracting items from any container, all right? And so if you put a wooden transport pipe on top of a chest, you hook a redstone engine or any engine to it, and then turn it on, it will transport anything that's in that chest up through that pipe now of course you would have to connect another type of transport pipe to it like a cobblestone transport pipe to move it to where you wanted to go so i will go ahead and show you what that looks like right now so this would be a simple uh transport pipe setup where you have one chest that's filled with things and this one happens to be filled with uh iron ore and you have a wooden uh transport pipe connected to it so in order for this to work, you do have an in, have to have an engine connected to the pipe. And this is what redstone engines are mostly used for, which is another thing that we're going to talk about this. You can flip power onto the pipe, onto the engine, which as you can see, it will start to transport these blocks from that base, that box to this box. Now each engine has a different type of or a different speed depending on its efficiency and how heated up it is. Uh, a redstone engine happens to have four different types of, of modes, which I'm going to get into later when I do a thing on engines. So as you can see, they're just being transported right through the pipe and pushed right back down into the chest right next to it. Right. As you can see here, we have it hooked up to two water tanks, and this is waterproof type. This is a waterproof, uh, waterproof wooden waterproof pipe that's connected to uh, cobblestone waterproof pipes. And if we turn this on, we can watch it will suck the water out of here, as you can see. And turn it off. All right. So in order to make just the basic pipe is what you need to start out with, you're going to need two blocks, uh, which would be actually two types of block. You need a glass block and you need a wooden plank, in two wooden planks. So to make the pipe, you would take the materials of the glass and you're going to want to put a wooden plank on each side of it, like so. And then you get eight wooden transport pipes and that is the basic form of pipe that you start out with to make it into a waterproof pipe you want to use waterproofing which is derived from cactus you're gonna to have to cook a cactus first you'll get the cactus paste or whatever and then put that into the table the crafting table and then you will get waterproof pipe waterproof out of it that will then give you your wooden waterproof pipe now, if you want to make a conductive pipe, you would just put redstone next to it, and that will make a conductive pipe, like so. All right. So, the same thing holds true for cobblestone pipe. It is two pieces of cobblestone and a piece of glass. The same thing, adding waterproofing to it makes it a waterproof. Adding redstone to it makes it a uh, conductive pipe. So, that is the basic pipes in feed the beast we're going to go on over to the basic engine in feed the beast what you're going to need to do for a basic engine and what your basic engine is for is of course is to run your uh, wooden transport pipes to start your action uh, that's going on here so in order to make 
a redstone engine, you're going to need these materials. I put one piece of coal because you're going to need the piece of coal to cook the iron ore to get your iron ingot. You're going to need at least uh, several pieces of oak wood to get three pieces of birch planks for your piston. This is for your piston ingredients right here. And then these are for the other ingredients. When you put those all together, you get these ingredients, which is a piston. You need two wooden gear, three birch planks, a piece of glass, and of course the lever is to activate it. So let's go ahead and um, let's go put these together. Probably should have cleared out my inventory before I did this. So let's go see what happens when we put this together in... Okay. You're going to take a gear and a gear. You're going to pop that there. You're going to put the glass here so your piston's in the middle, your glass is here. And put plank, 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 and you have a redstone engine. Just that simple. All basic things that are used, uh, you know, that you can gain pretty easily in the game. Now, when you tab a redstone engine and you place the redstone engine, it should automatically face itself to the pipe itself, unless you, the pipe isn't there. So when I put this there, it, as you can see, it's automatically facing that pipe. And then all you have to do is shift click to get a lever on the back of it. So I'm just going shift click and that's put it. You can do the same thing. You can put a block here um, that any redstone signal can travel through like so and put that there and that will still run the engine, of course. All right. And as you can see, it's running it perfectly fine there. All right. So um, the thing about this is, is that a, the redstone engine is a build craft engine. It's from the build craft expansion. It does work with Railcraft and Thermalcraft expansion engines. It does not oh, explode. That's a big thing about the Redstone engine that makes it nice is A, you don't have to cool it. B, it doesn't explode, okay? The problem is it will explode if you oh, if, it, if, if it's overpowered or by other engines. And if you, I tried to do this and I couldn't even get the configuration down to get it to explode. So it's very hard to configure it to make it explode. If it does explode, it does a four by four block. So it would explode like here, 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 and here is how it would explode. Okay. So that's the redstone engine. Now the redstone engine will produce when it's it, when it's in its fourth and top stage, it will produce one megajoule per second when it is completely warmed up. It does have a thing where it will alternate between orange and red. It is running at maximum efficiency at that time and it is not losing any benefit. Now, what I did was here was I did make a little um, thing to show you that the redstone engines, how many would be needed to run a pump to pump water out of this bottomless water source. So as you can see, you need four uh, redstone engines to run this pump. And it takes a little bit for them to warm up, but they will sooner or later, sooner or later, run this pump. And it takes a little while. There you go. And so there's your water. Now, like that. So uh, please, I beg of you, leave comments on what you think I should have put into this uh, this uh, tutorial and what you think I should put in. This is my very first tutorial that I've ever put. You can also watch me on twitch.tv or twitch, yeah, twitch.tv. I broadcast uh, every day except for Fridays from 3.30 p.m. Pacific time to 10, 11, or 12 Pacific Standard Time. And that's every day except for Friday. And uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Y'all have a wonderful day. And yes, chunk out.